Hi, everyone. Um, Johnny Washaba. We are doing our project on speech emotion recognition. So major domain of our project is machine learning. And the code used is in Python. So as you can see, we have imported some Python libraries, such as NumPy, Pandas, Matplot, Seaborn, Librosol, TensorFlow. We will talk about some of these libraries, such as the NumPy library, which provides support for mathematical and numerical operations. And it is referred as NP. We have the Pandas library, which is used for data manipulation and data analysis, also referred to as PT. We have the Matplot and Seaborn libraries, which are used for data visualization and creating plots and graphs. For our project, we use the test Toronto Emotional Speech Set Data, whereby here is the path to our data set, which is stored in data D. And next, we will initialize an empty list futures to store the extracted MFCC futures and initialize an empty list labels to store the emotion labels. So we iterate over each folder in the directory. Once iterated, we will construct the full path to the current folder using os.path.join. And we will check if the current path is a directory using ospath.sj. And we will extract the emotion levels from the folder name by splitting the folder name on an underscore and selecting the last element using of the negative one. So we will iterate over each file in the current folder and construct the full part of the current file by joining the folder part and the file name. Then we will check if the part ends with the dot wave extension. If yes, we will load the audio file and extract its futures. We will load the audio files using iBoost a lot. And the file in the file path, which will be selected with the audio files with a duration of three seconds. We will compute the MFCC futures by using the library.future.mfcc. We will compute the mean of the MFCC coefficient along the axis one using NP mean. Or I'm all append futures and labels to the Vida various list. We will convert the futures list to NumPy array using np.array and the labels to NumPy array using np.array. We will initialize a label encoder object name label encoder to encode the emotion labels. Then we will define a list of emotions and the number of samples to select from each emotion. As we can see, the emotions are as follows, angry, disgust, fear, happy, neutral, sad. So we will provide three samples per each emotion. An empty list will be initialized to store these selected samples in our emotion list. We will iterate through each emotion in the emotion list and construct the full path corresponding to emotion directory by joining the data deal with the emotion name using os.path join. 
we will retrieve a list of audio files present in the emotion directory using OS list view. We will randomly select num the number of samples per emotion files from the audio files list using np.random.choice and iterate through the selected files and construct the full part of the current audio by joining the emotion dir to the file name. We will load the audio file using like browser load and append a tuple containing the loaded audio sample rate and emotion levels to the selected sample list. Whereby we will plot uh, samples on a waveform plot. As you can see, we have three sample each for every emotion which this was selected randomly. Then we'll calculate the spectrogram of the audio using Librosa Future the Mel spectrogram. Then convert power spectrogram to decibel scale using the Librosa dot power to dB. Next, we will plot the spectrogram with a figure size of 10 times 10 is to 3, which we will use like browser.display.spectro to display our spectrogram, as you can see below. These are the samples created. So yeah, we will apply some auto transformations. So we will initialize empty list for augmented futures and labels. It iterate through the original futures and labels. Then we will append the original future and labels to the augmented list. We will apply noise addition by generating random noise and adding it to the future. We will apply time stretching to the future using like dot effect dot time stretch, where the stretching rate is set to one point two, where the rate can be adjusted as needed. Uh, we will apply pitch shifting to the future using using the pitch function. The function is set to zero point seven. The augmented future and the levels are appended. Then we print the number of original and augmented samples, which we can see original sample, 2,800. Augmented samples, 8,400. Then we initialize an empty list called preprocessed data to store the preprocess audio data. Then we retrieve the list of files in the data due. We iterate over each file in the file list and create the file path by joining the data due and the file name. So we will check if the audio file does not have the dot wave extension. If so, we will skip it and continue to the next file. We will load the audio file and obtain the waveform and sample rate. Sample of the audio, we will sample the audio to 22,050 hertz by using libosa.resample. Yeah, we will define a dictionary called label mapping. That maps its emotion level to a numerical value. Um, create an array called encoded labels. By mapping the original emotions to their corresponding numerical values using label mapping dictionary, we filter out any samples with unknown emotion levels and split the data into training and testing sets using train test splits. 
we receive the input futures to the suitable ship for our data set and convert the emotion labels to category, ca categorical format. Yeah, we print our uh, X train ship, Y train ship, X test ship, Y test ship. This code builds the CNN model architect and architecture using the Keras sequential API, where we will create a sequential model using model equals sequential. We'll add the first convolutional layer using model.add, where this convolutional layer has 32 filters of size three times three and uses the radio activation function. We flatten the output of the convolutional layer using model.add, flatten. We add a dense layer with 32 units and radio activation. We add the outer add output layer using model.add and soft max activation. with six units, which corresponds to the number of emotions. Then we compile the model using Adam optimizer. This specifies the optimizer loss function and evaluation metrics for the model. Then we print the model summary as you can see. Then we train the model using model.fit function and evaluate its performance using the model.evaluate function. As you can see, um, the function trains the model. And our model accuracy for the test data is 93.95%. Then we will plot the training and validation loss. We'll plot the training and validation accuracy, which we can see our model works perfectly and responds perfectly to, and will respond perfectly to new data. Then we get the predicted levels for the test set using YPred equal model.predict, which generates the predicted probabilities for each class for each sample in the test set. We convert the predicted probabilities to labels using YPred labels, which selects the class with the highest probability as the predicted level for each sample. Then we convert the true levels from one hot encoding to labels using Y true labels equals np dot app max. As you can see, we generate the confusion metrics using the code here. We define the class names for labeling the confusion metrics using this class, this code. which generates a report containing precision, recall F1 score and support metrics for each class. Then we display the confusion metrics as a heat map using SNS heat map, as you can see. So here is our confusion metrics, which have been, been which has been plotted. Where the con the confusion matrix, the row represent the true labels, the columns represent the predicted labels, and the number in each cell indicates the count of samples that fall into a particular combination of true and predicted labels. For example, you can see the cell to angry in the true labels row and angry in the predicted labels column we see the count 
75, we still count 75, which means that there are 75 samples that are truly labeled as angry and have been correctly predicted as angry by the model. So we print the uh, report, precision recall, F1 score support. As we can see, our model get some high have has some high accuracy. So we trained our model on the X train and had the hundred percent accuracy. Nearby, our model can be.